All right, so let's go check on Ringo. Let's go off in here and uh, see how he's doing, you know? Check up on him, make sure everything's all right. And I uh, say a cop. Whoa! Uh, hey! Who are you? And what do you want with me? Dude, chill. <laughs> Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Huh? Caravan. Um, you can put the gun away, if you don't mind. Yeah, just saying. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Hmm. I sent some wah ha ha here. Just keep an eye out for him while you travel. I've found cards in old boxes or forgotten on shelves. You can find some for sale, too. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player. All right, so, you know, a band of butt-raping ex-cons are about to come and, you know, burn the entire town down and take everybody and kidnap all the women and kill all the livestock and... Oh, but <laughs> caravan, you say? Well, by all means, let's go ahead and stop and, uh, and have a game or two. And essentially, you can uh, play with this guy as much as you want. He's like your crash dummy, all right? Now, I have an extensive uh, kind of a tutorial video on this to make this game pretty simple. Um... But you'll, you'll probably get quite a bit of that just here watching me put together my deck. This is how I win essentially all the time. Although there is a challenge for losing a certain number of uh, caravan games. I believe it's seven. Maybe more than that. But uh, you can you can do that with this guy too because you lose basically nothing. You just bet like a cap. And as soon as you get ready to play, you just back out and it counts as a loss. And you can get all your losses real quick. And we, we may do that later. But... Uh, for right now, let's put this together. Now, you see, um, I'm flipping over cards of the same suit. If you look at my earlier cards, all right, they're all of the same suit, and there's a reason for that, okay? And now I get up here, and really, I want to start around six and start flipping all of them over. But up to that point, like, it doesn't matter which two, but as long as you pick, like, all diamonds, all spades, right? All hearts, all clubs, all hearts, all diamonds. It doesn't matter, whatever. But keep your suits the same up until you get to about six or so, then start flipping them all over. Because you want your mid to high tier cards. You want every one of those in your deck, all right? Jacks are to remove a card in your deck or your opponent's deck. And kings are to double a card in your deck or your opponent's deck. So you can sabotage your opponent's deck or make him go over. And you can uh, boost your deck and put you right where you need to be. Or take out a card that your opponent has sabotaged with a jack, for example. Okay, here it doesn't too much matter what I lay down. I can go from low to high, high to low. The reason I said keep the same suit in your first lower cards, all right? And then, of course, flip over all the cards uh, in your higher tiers, all right? But the point being is that you see I went from 3 to 10 on my first stack. Let's say I wanted to go back down. Let's say I wanted to, put, say, put, like, I don't know, a 7 and a 6 back to back. The only way I can reverse direction is either with a queen, which requires a whole extra turn, or um, use a diamond. Okay, and so odds are, if you have the same suits in your in your deck, you're more likely to pull the suit that you need to change directions in your deck, either to go from uh, from high back to low or from low back to high again. All right, that'll make sense as you play. But uh, anyway, that's my strategy, my theory for doing that. You saw I left queens and left jokers out because the the cards that you have, your opponent also has, and. Uh, Though jokers can can have some strategic value, they're A, more situational, B, they can be a nuisance when your opponent has them also. All right, and it's just one less thing for me to keep track of, and I don't have any problem winning like this, so I like to keep my deck simple. Simple for me is good because, uh, yeah, I'm not all that smart. All right, so the idea is to get uh, three of your decks higher than, uh, or three of your stacks higher than his stacks, or get two of your stacks over 21 before he gets any of his, or get... Uh, three of your stacks uh, to 21 to his one stack. In other words, you got to trump him by two stacks or get all of your stacks higher than his stacks, up to 26. Anything over that it, uh, counts as a bad stack. All right? You need to either um, fix it or remove the entire stack and start over. 
Anyway, that's kind of simple, but I will leave an annotation for the tutorial part of that if you're interested in Caravan. I think I have a, a pretty good system. Well, I uh, like I say, I, I can... Uh, well, pretty much when when it when it will, you know, as far as that goes, you get a basic understanding of the game and learn how to build your deck, and it's uh, much easier and pretty quick. And it's a great source of caps, especially early game, uh, any time in the game, really, because as you level up, um, the players that you can play with will have more to bet. One key is uh, some of the caravan players will only play you a certain number of times. I believe their limit is like five times, okay? Total, period. I, I believe that came with a patch. I don't think the game started like that. I think in one of the patches they made it that way. Uh, there are some exceptions. This guy will play you as often as you want, but he never really has anything to bet. He's just for practice or to pad your uh, your challenges. You know, if you want to win a certain number of games or lose a certain number of games without risking any money, you play this guy over and over. Oh, sorry. Right. I thought everybody knew already. No Bark is the other I'm exception. With the Crimson Caravan Company. I'm uh, staying in town for a bit. Did you want something else? Like I said, I'm not from Good Springs. I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. I've never stopped here until recently. You're better off asking one of the locals. It's been in business for a very long time. And it's probably the biggest trading outfit in California. There's a branch up in New Vegas, but it hasn't been doing so well. Word is that the big boss herself, Alice McLafferty, is coming in to fix things. Yeah, he doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. <laughs> I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Okay, now the reason I saved this dialogue option for last is after this, you're pretty much locked out of dialogue with him. Just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Alright, so if I were to talk to him now, basically he would say, you know, hey, hey have you uh, rounded everyone up yet? Type of thing until the quest is over and then he'll hang around town for a while so I can get like I say you know of some I'll probably get all of my caravan losses under my belt here just get them out of the way and then I can uh, I'm not really worried about the winning part of it I've got the trophy for that but uh, you win a certain number of games at some point and you also get a challenge for that too so I'll get there eventually but I will be utilizing my caravan games to get money and essentially the players who will only play you like five times for example the uh, the bartender at the uh, NCR outpost down there, um, down south, uh, the Mojave outpost. Okay, uh, oh, let's see, the old man in Prim, um, the 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 merchant guy, the clerk at Novak in the uh, in the dinosaur, his little dinosaur gift shop. And let me think. There's a few more, but. Uh, uh, they will only uh, play you five times, so the best the best thing to do is max bet them once, maybe twice, and then leave them alone and wait a few days for them to re-up their caps and then come back and bet them later. And you'll find that before you even get to Vegas, you'll have um, tens of thousands of caps available. Not you know, Also not counting the loot that you're going to sell along the way if you do all the questing stuff, which we will do if we uh, go through this playthrough Hi. faithfully. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Say no more. I'm in. She's so cool. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. 
I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. I'll be waiting. All right, so she flat out just tells you which which skills you were going to need to pass these speech checks: explosives, barter, so speech, on on or sneak. Gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. All right. Oh, time to put some points in. All right, I won't get a perk this level. All I get is skill points. Now, notice I'm not hurting uh, for skill points, really. Even though I started with uh, lower intelligence than what a lot may be accustomed to, um, it's not going to hurt me in the long run as long as I evenly distribute my points, you know? Um... The exception to that would be if I need a particular perk at a particular level and I want it now, get it out of the way. Say like the entomologist perk, I think you need your uh, science at 40? 40, 45? Something like that. Okay, and so by the next level, or at the latest level 5, I'm going to want to get my um, science to uh, to that point, or level 6, whatever. You know, because that's, that's going to be a perk. I believe that's a perk that's available at level 4. That's just the first one that came to mind. But just whatever. If there's a particular um, tier you need to reach with a, with a particular skill to get a perk that you absolutely must have for your build, then, you know, that would be the exception. Other than that, it's even dispersal. Two, two here, three there, three here, and they add up, you know. You'll find yourself able to unlock your locks and, and hack your computers. You know, you'll have to pass some hard and very hard ones up for a while. But I, I think that would be the case anyway. Even if you had a higher intelligence and you weren't just dumping all your points into those particular skills. But this is keeping, uh, with this build, the role play element and the uh, and the combat element uh, in mind. So that you can function on any difficulty with any equipment. That's what it's designed for and uh, seems to do its job. Now I'm trying to get the challenge here for making stuff. Alright, so if you see me stopping at these benches every chance I get, that's why. There we go. See? Oh, that's a quick XP boost right there. So I should be hitting four shortly. Shortly after uh, finishing this quest here. Howdy. Bad trouble. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Too dangerous. Want to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. All right, the higher the requirement yep. for the speech check, um, the higher the XP you get. For example, if the speech check requires 50, you're going to get 50 XP. Well, we're going to take a 10% hit, so we'll get 45. But still, the bottom line is uh, the higher the speech check you get to pass there, the more XP you can get from doing it. So uh, they're definitely worth passing. Not, not, not to mention the trophy, you know, the uh, the achievement for it. Let's get in here and see what Doc Mitchell has for us. I don't think we have a speech check with him, but I do have this broken nine millimeter. It's been sitting here. Remember to come back. That's some free caps, unless I decide I actually want to use it. I don't really have the ammo to just spray with this thing yet, but uh, how are you holding up? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. More never changes, bro. I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Alright. Stand up, dude. I mean, we know 
that he was a doctor out in the waste just because he knew his, his skills could help people, and that was his rewards. So, well, you know, he's kind of a stand-up guy. Pretty cool. All right, so my last one should be Chet. Didn't really matter which order I did these in. That's all I need to keep in mind. I think this is this requires the highest. I believe you need a 30 barter with this guy. And this is where you can struggle a little bit with this. I mean, you might need a Mentats and a Moonshine and a Salesman Weekly. One good reason to check all the mailboxes in town is chances are you'll probably pick one of these up. Plus, I believe one, one of the Salesman Weeklies is... Uh, it's a guaranteed someplace here in Good Springs. Seems like it is. I'm trying to remember where I found it. But uh, anyway, as long as you can hit that 30 mark. You looking to buy some supplies? Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Uh, yeah, it's kind of worth it so you don't get raped, shot down, and have all your stuff taken. Ringo doesn't head out on his own. Might be worth I it. I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Oh, no, I don't mistake it for coward talk. It just flat out is coward talk. You're a douche. Got any mods? <laughs> Yo, douchebag, man up. But, uh, you got any mods? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Actually, he doesn't appear to have any mods. How about, uh, skill books then? I always have to remember to look out for those, too. There's GRA stuff, but, uh, GRA mods only go on GRA weapons. That's Gunrunner arsenal stuff so which is fine if I want to buy a specifically a GRA weapon I'd rather have uh, rather have some vanilla stuff right now vanilla mods for my just basic in-game weapons all right well no mods he can buy his leather armor back I'll certainly sell that to him and that's not a bad price for a free nine millimeter SMG I'll take that can take that two pounds off of me too. Alright, that'll work. Because I don't remember what I need to fix ED. I, I, I don't remember if you even need a fission battery, but it seems like I remember you needing two of them. I may be completely wrong about that, but... Worst comes to worst, you know, if I don't, then I'll just sell them to the old man in Prim. After I fix ED up and uh, free caps, you know. They're pretty heavy, though. They weigh like seven units, seven pounds of weight. So, yeah, they're kind of kind of tedious to carry around. They weigh more than some armor. I believe they weigh seven pounds. Anyway. All right, so we got everybody's assistance. Now we can go give him the good news that he's not uh, hiding up here alone anymore. He can stop pointing a gun at our face, though. But uh, more than welcome to play cards with us. Actually, this dude's pretty cool. He not only pays his debts, but uh, we'll see him later. Assuming we can keep him alive. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon. At least six, Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. Something I'll else to sell the chip. <laughs> Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right, let's do this. High Noon Showdown. That is kind of cool that they start the game with a quest where you have a uh, a High Noon type, you know, 
gunfight, okay corral type deal start the game with. That's, that's, that's pretty neat. Alright, take advantage of uh, using some of this uh, poison. Uh, how's the spear already poisoned? Apparently the ones I threw at that guy's face and vats didn't count. Earlier? Oh, well, whatever. Anyway. They'll be pretty effective against these guys. These are basic level dudes. Well, Joe Cobb, since you seem to have the biggest mouth, maybe you'll make the biggest target. Like that? I'm gonna stand back up. Yeah, idiot. Alright, poison time again. Use all this venom. Let's see if we can get a headshot. Oh, yeah, <laughs> awesome. What I did was just decapitated your girlfriend over there. That's what I did. I believe that venom will poison them over time, too. Yeah. Nice. I can use some more ammo for that. Oops, sorry about that, bro. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that pissed me off, too. <laughs> Alright, so we have max reputation here in Good Springs. For a lot of good that'll do us. I mean, uh... Doesn't really count towards overall NCR rep. Uh, huge favor for this. Here. These are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. I generally tend not to antagonize my friends in this game. If we're friendly, we're cool. If we're not friendly, I'm going to kill you. There's not really a whole lot of in-between. Now, you can make friends with certain factions also by uh, following that rule of thumb, like the cons, for example. Be cool with them, and they're actually really cool. They're just uh, kind of people pushed into hard times type of thing. I mean, nothing excuses dope dealing, but in the post-apocalyptic wasteland, where sometimes a buff out or a psycho literally keeps you physically alive, that's opposed to some teenager sitting there dropping acid in his bedroom listening to, listening to his uh, albums. This is, you know, people surviving type thing. I'm not justifying it, I'm just saying. Seems to be a bit of a difference, and uh, if anyone has an excuse having been pushed into that life, I guess it would be them. But uh, yeah, when you deal with them, they're just uh, not a whole lot different than the NCR guys or anyone else. Just your That'll civilians and citizens that, that you meet. It stays that way. But, your gun but the Legion? Now they're on something completely different. They're always tripping. Like the schoolhouse. Wasteland critters like to move in when sun is not looking. So watch out. Yeah, they're always talking in some language that no one gives a crap about. Running around in their skirts. Being all freaky and treating themselves as if they're the hand of God. Weird. Yeah, not cool. Not a big fan of them. But uh, the rest of these people, they're just normal people. 
Yeah, I'm all, I'm all cool with these guys. Apparently that skill book, That'll skill magazine is gone now. Good in the future. But, uh, all right, that's it. Time. We have delivered Good Springs from its troubles, all right? So, uh, we'll go ahead and close this up here. We'll go over here and have a chat with Ringo, talk about old times, maybe get ready to have a few more losing games at Caravan, just to get that out of the way. And uh, we'll continue this uh, from here on the next one, all right? Thanks for watching. For some more Fallout New Vegas, click that top box. All right, for a complete list of all my video playlists, click that bottom box. And if you want to subscribe and stay updated on daily video uploads, then uh, hit that subscribe button right up top. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching, and uh, take care. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, bye-bye.